Yes, we did when we had lost all hope of finding anything this afternoon. There it is. I've got close to no idea to whom this might be. So please do send us an idea. Maybe Tamba, I want to say, because of those beautiful markings underneath his face. I have never seen him before, so if it is him, I'll be very happy. Oh, this is wonderful, very sleepy cat. Ah, we got a fright because we got super excited when we spotted him just sleeping all the way all up there. Yay! I think my heart is still racing. <laughs> Not too bad, good to see him today. Wonderful news. So, just as, th as we thought that maybe the gremlins were gonna beat us and win, here we are. I do think it's Tumba just because I remember Taylor mentioning this wonderful markings underneath his eyes, but uh, again, I'm not 100% sure. So if you guys can let us know once you've managed to ID who this beautiful cat is, we are more than happy to share it with the rest. For now, it seems like it's quite sleepy, whoever you are. Have you been walking far? Wonderful. <laughs> he was eyeing up the tree, so nowadays we've got to double check trees because, you know, there might be another five leopards on top of the tree. I don't think that is the case today. I think this is pretty much the only one around. But wonderful, isn't it? Oh, looking so happy. James, Richard, and other viewers, you say maybe Hosanna? Uh, now the plot thickens. Now I'm even more unsure of who this might be. Doesn't seem like him. Maybe if we can get a bit of a look at the spot pattern. He's got almost like a little butterfly on top and very dark markings underneath the eyes, if that helps anyone. Whoever it is, definitely quite sleepy. Beautiful. Definitely. Dina, you say he's so handsome. I completely agree with you. I think he is very stunning indeed. And, oh, beautiful dark markings, isn't he? He seems slightly darker than some of the other leopards around. Look at him. Sorry, guys. Are you going to, oh. My goodness, someone is very tired. I wonder if he just got onto this termite mound after walking for a little while. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to move slightly backwards to see if perhaps we can get a bit of a view at its shoulder and that might be able to help us ID it. So excited. Look at this. There we go. Who are you? Let's have a, a closer look. Beautiful, stunning creature. And you can imagine if you drive around here quite quickly, we wouldn't be able to see him. And somebody maybe wants to go up that tree because it's the second time you've been eyeing it. I don't know if it's going to be all that comfortable. So we have a consensus. We have found the royal prince, Hosanna. Well, good to see you. I saw you a while ago, and it's good to see that you've been doing so well. <gasps> Amazing. Not too far from where Shungili has been. I think maybe he's been exploring new areas. I don't know if he's been seen around Chitwa Dam area before, but here he is in one piece and looking very healthy. I, I hope he'll get up and he'll let us see just how full his belly is but from what we can see over here and what you are seeing on the screen he doesn't seem to be struggling at all I think he's doing just fine just like his sister wonderful news isn't it oh ah, beautiful teeth have you been walking way too much
think you want to go up on the tree, don't you? Sparrow, you're saying that he's got such a young face. Well, yes, he does. He's still a youngster, not too old. And he still hopefully has a very long life ahead of him. He hasn't even covered maybe a quarter of his life yet. <gasps> Stretching? Yawning? Well, uh, isn't that your typical cat movement? Are you just moving around? Hehehe. <laughs> Ah, somebody's hiding from a vantage point, having a look down at the dam. I wonder if you've been eating some of the geese around here, or if he's maybe looking for some of the impala down at the bottom. I wonder, I can't really see anything else from here, but he's clearly using this termite mount and he's hiding and just scanning the area. He's a bit on uh, higher than everything else below him so I'm sure he's just pondering about what his next move should be hello we're all very happy to see you all right Shanae Shanae come back for Ali Sorry, I'm struggling big time with this radio. I've been trying to call you before. Um, I don't know if maybe you're interested, but we've got what looks like a young Madoda English, Rumbi Rumbi old driveway junction static. Okay, Kabi. Can you look with your binos on his head? Okay, Kabi, like I said, I'm struggling big time today with the radio, so if you can just uh, let the Chitwa guys know, please. Look at the back of his head for me, please. Look at the... yes, I was also looking at the back of looks his like head. Is, uh, looks like there is a wound there. Sorry, Shinego, again, I can't really hear you. Okay, Kabi. Right, he does seem to. Oh, I can't hear the radio anymore. I just hear. He does seem to have a bit of like what looks to be an old injury in the back of his head. Nothing to be concerned about. I don't know if maybe he just got a bit of a sweat from another leopard or something else, or maybe just running around. But I don't think there's really anything to be concerned. Maybe whatever it is, it wasn't too detrimental to his health. I mean, look at him. He is looking quite stunning today, isn't he? I'm really hoping you're going to go up the tree. I've been loving all these leopards on top of termite mounds. John, you're wondering how often leopards need to eat. Well, they don't need to eat every day the same way that we do. Sometimes they'll go a few days without having any food. I don't know if this particular one is looking at something in the tree that he does want to eat because he's looking very puzzled and he keeps looking in the same direction. Or I don't know if he's looking for a way to climb the tree without hurting himself. So whenever they manage to bring something down and they try to, to get things that are going to be a good energy, they want to make sure that all that energy that they spend on bringing something down is actually going to be good for them uh, or it's going to be enough to, to refuel all the energy that they've spent on trying to catch that thing. So they'll often gorge themselves and they'll eat as much as they can in one go and that'll be good for them so that they won't have to eat uh, for a few days. What are you looking at? <laughs> Let's just have a look in the binos on the trees. Shelly, you're saying maybe he's got a kill in the tree. Uh, I can't see anything from, from where I am and I don't know if maybe there was a squirrel or a, or a lizard hiding in and out of the tree and that's what he was looking at because it was almost like he was quite puzzled about everything. And we've got some young water bug down in the distance. And I think maybe he will spot them soon enough. You see the water buck are coming straight to him, but I don't think he can 
see them from where he is. No, you can't see them, can you? I think maybe, oh, there's something there. Maybe there's a bird. A squirrel, there's a squirrel in the tree moving around. I'm sure that's what he's been looking at. And squirrels are potentially a good meal for, for leopards. A lot of the times, youngsters, they will survive on smaller creatures like squirrels or mongoose or different other things. And uh, it, it would still be very small kills, but if they make them more than a few times, they'll be able to happily survive on squirrels. <laughs> I love the way he's looking up and just being so puzzled. Yes, definitely a squirrel. Are you gonna show off now? Look, he's getting angry now. Look at his face. Is the squirrel annoying you? Ah, are you gonna chase the squirrel? Come on, even the fish eagles want you to chase the squirrel. I know we don't have the best view, but if the squirrel is not far from him, I don't want to turn the car on and then give him the advantage over the squirrel. So I just want to see if he maybe moves around somewhere else. I think he is. He's facing the other side of the tree now. coming to us oh dear it seems as though ali has disappeared off but what exciting